everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel. And Al Andalus, thank you for everybody that's been watching and liking not just this, but everything on the channel lately. Uh, the growth over just like the last 10 days has been pretty insane. So thank you for that. And I'm glad to see everybody responded well to the dev diary update video i will definitely be doing those every time there is something to update so again thank you so much if you want to drop a like here that would mean the world to me as well also check out the links down in the description join the discord to uh you know chat with like-minded souls you can also if you're curious about supporting the channel financially you can also do that on patreon for like a buck but if not, I totally get it, and hey, you're here watching, and that's what really matters. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> we've reunified the Sultanate, and one thing I've been advised to do is to take the Sultanate of Barajos and destroy the title. So, we're going to do that. It's going to cost us 800 prestige, and we've done that. The reason why is very, very simple. Um, and something that's been noted to me before, I didn't write it down, but I did write it down this time. Okay. So as you can see, I did it. it. Is obviously, you know, kingdom tier is the highest tier. If you have two titles of equal tier and you have more than one heir, it equally splits. Partition sucks. Now as a kingdom tier and the next highest is a duchy tier title uh, when the ruler dies the heir gets the kingdom tier and then the kingdom doesn't split up so we've done we've done all that now all right uh khadija can get married let's see let's see let's see we can marry her to the dunits well we got matrilineal going on here my brother-in-law yeah, let's let's not do that. Cadiz, Leah, yeah, no, no, none of those really matter. Let's see, she is sixteen. How am I looking here for kids anyway? That's my eldest daughter. I could marry her to the Emir of the Dunit Emirates. We get an alliance with the Dunids. Magravids would be another one, so gain a North African ally, which isn't wouldn't be horrible. Uh, the Hudits, that's our brother-in-law. We already have an alliance with them. We could go to the Sheikdom of Leon. Duchies claims there. I'm just I'm just kind of flipping through here. Uh, let's see the Hamadids again. There, you know. It might not be bad to have. Oh, they're related. All right, so never mind that one. Let's not do that. The Dunids. You know, we may as well keep them on our side right now. Now, I know we talked about conquering them, right? But I'm kind of digging gobbling up everybody else first, and maybe by then he'll be dead. He's already 57, but getting him on our side means they won't attack us. And we would be free to, you know, take over Valencia, the Emirids, and Menorca, and then gobble up these up here without having to worry about the donuts coming after us. That, that is what we're going to do. So the people that are technically are oh we're returning from the wild all right so we gained 150 prestige back from that hunt perfect perfect alliance has been formed fantastic the 57 year old is now marrying my 16 year old daughter not at all creepy and now it's time to take a look again what we want to do here so now we've neutralized the dunid threat for now I keep doing that um they are our ally they're not going to attack us the Hudids, they are allied to us as well. So that's very, very nice. Valencia is not. I'm trying to remember. Do we have a truce with Valencia? Where are you? 
Uh, Abadids, Merida, Agirkas. No, we do not. So, we could just take take over Valencia at this point. Um, bring them into our the fold. We can also go after the Amirids as well. Land there and take care of that. And then turn our attention to these guys. I think that may not be bad to just do that. What I'm going to do now is let's move... Our rally point to right here. Yeah. Go to Valencia. Let's see, what can we do here? Uh, we can conquer the entire duchy. No, we cannot. Cost too much piety. We're not going to do that. Conquer the county. Or su shake Sanyo's claims. So he gains, he is still our vassal. Uh, yeah, but we don't have, it's just killed our the prestige. All right, so what about the Amirids? Hold on, we could take just that county. We could not take the entire duchy. All right, so never mind there, Leon. How are we looking here? We can declare war on them. The Sheikh's claims for the north. Or we can do a holy war for that. Take the entire duchy, the county, no. The kingdom. I, I kind of would like to take everything. We can't do holy wars because we are less than faithful. We're getting close there. So you know what we're going to do instead? Here's what we're going to do instead. Instead, we are going to go over here. And we are going to go not to a brothel. We're going to go on a pilgrimage. We have the money. And the uh, Mualadi pilgrimage. It is time for me to set out on my journey to one of the holy places. So we can go to Subu. That's 140 gold. We can go to the mosque at Al Madina. That's 490. We can go all the way to Jerusalem. Let's just let's just go local, localer, localish. All right, the pilgrimage. It is time to depart. Fantastic. All right. So as we're doing that, we need to build up our piety because that will definitely help matters. Let's just take a look here at Navarra. Are there any... Oh, here we go. Pilgrimage. Bandits. I wake to the noise of chaos and camp, but it only takes me a few moments to realize what is happening. We are under attack. Bandits are swarming our tents and wagons while our guards do what they can to resist. Where's my sword? I will drive these dogs away. So there's a 56% chance we gain 75 prestige, and there's a 44% chance to get wounded. There has to be somewhere around where I can hide. So 84% chance go away unharmed, 16% chance wounded, and we spend 75 prestige. Stop this madness. I will pay you whatever you want. No, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Let's see. Is he much of a marshal? No. He's diligent. He's deceitful. He's greedy. He's one-legged. I mean, would a one-legged man attack them? No. We are still wounded, so that really didn't help. And wound treatment, and we lost wounded. All right. Fantastic. So Navara, could do a little bit with. Holy War for the Kingdom. That's interesting. Pilgrimage, the arrival. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the Great Mosque of Supu. As the Ulama offers me blessing, I reflect on everything that had to happen for Allah to bring me here at this moment in time. I have walked the holy path. Very nice, and we are dedicated to the faith, so we are now faithful. So we can we can do all of this good stuff. We cannot do this because we are not a paragon of virtue, and we're nowhere near that. So we can't do holy wars for the entire kingdom. Pilgrimage return. It is good to be home. Fantastic. All right. So now... <laughs> now, 
Oh, our counselor Bilal has died. All right, so we need a new marshal. And I think I will assign our brother. And now we have a son, Bilal. Oh, obviously in the name of, named after the counselor that just died. All right, now remind me again here. War, his claim 675. Yeah, we're, we're far off there. So Galicia, I'll declare a war here. So we've got claims that we can press or we can just do a county or we can go for the duchy. Holy war for the county. Holy war for the duchy. Change the objective to Portugal. I mean, that looks a lot better just to go with what's south of us. Uh, we can obviously not do a kingdom war. We're not there yet. Navarra. Clear a war, holy war for a duchy. So we could go for Galicia. Uh, Vizcaya, which obviously that makes no sense. Or Navarra. You know, obviously that, that, that would be the one to go after. Then we've got Leon. Declare a war. So we've got some claims. We could press there. Uh, just for the north. Or we can do a holy war for the duchy. For Castile. Just take that whole thing. So that is an option. Or... We can go after Castile. Declare a war here for the duchy. Ah, I can't take the whole thing. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. <laughs> I think Alicia would be the best option there. We can eat up more of the land. So before we do that, uh, go back here. Change our rally point again. And let's move our rally point to here. Yeah, that way we can just dump right in here. Actually, that's probably not... Well, let's go on the coast, because we probably have to take Porto. Yep, Porto is the main holding, so that's what we have to besiege down first. So we're going to go there, we're going to declare a war, we're going to do a holy war for... The Duchy of Portugal. Declare that war. Raise all armies. Oh, there's everybody. And we'll just combine our forces. Not gonna worry. Enemy holy order. Oh, uh, and so we've got quite a few that have now joined. We will call our allies. The Hudids. And the Dunids. All right, call our house member. We will call him as well. And then here we will merge our armies. All right, we will march in there. And take that. That'll take four months. All right, so we're going to focus on that. Here come our... I mean, we've got a lot of allies now in this war. Uh, I did forget about uh, the fact that they have Brittany and the HRE on their side. But we have the superior forces overall. So hopefully we can just win this thing quickly before large enemy forces come to bear upon us. Chased by shadows, footsteps echoing down dark hallways, misplaced papers in my study, a shadow seen from the corner of my eye. You think someone is following you? My wife, Sultana Butaina, seems to mull it over before nodding to herself. I have noticed some suspicious things in the castle recently. Need to get to the bottom of this. All right. So let's take a look at this. We're just a few days away from winning this siege. Chased by shadows, hidden... In one more desolate hallways, one that leads to most private chambers, as well as the castle gardens, I wait and I watch. Was it foolish to come here? Maybe if I... Footsteps. Moving quietly down the hallway, I figure emerging from the shadows. What is Razik doing here? 
Hmm. If Razik is involved in a scheme, you will expose it. If not, your attempt rooting out the spy. Okay, I will confront him immediately. I'm going to keep an eye on all of that. See here, everyone's coming. Chased by shadows. Why would you accuse me of such things? I was only going out to the guards to breathe some air. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, we're going to win this siege here in a moment. Perfect. Siege one. We've got taken a prisoner and 36 gold. Now let's move up here and take the capital. As our allies are besieging down below us. Aunt taken prisoner, wound, warrior wounded in training. Okay. Unexpected reunions. My lord, my heart would not know rest until I found you again. It is I, Tarifa. Surely you remember me, my songbird. I cannot believe my eyes. The beautiful woman I indulged in many moons ago during a wild night of abandon has shown up at court. Stay here. It's part of my court. I insist. Um, you will find no home here. Sorry. Go go away, lady. Alright, so we have five months on that siege. And see. Enemy anywhere? I'm not seeing enemy forces anywhere. Okay. Oh, there's there here we go. There's the HRE. Here they come. Alright, so things are gonna be are going to be interesting really, really, really quickly here. Here comes the HRE. How are we looking here? We've got two months left in the siege. Neighboring ruler has lost a war. Oh, Valencia. One of our vassals conquered Valencia, and here we go. They, they are coming in force for us. That's that large army. And our mercenary, mercenary companies are leaving. Which, that's not great. Oh, we've taken the king prisoner. Enforced demands. Boom. Done. <laughs> Disband all troops. We're over. <laughs> we captured the king. The war is over. Woo! That was... That was down to the last second. We'll ransom, ransom him away. That was an awfully close call <laughs> with the HRE. Um, in the meantime, one of our vassals took Valencia. And Valencia is just now this tiny little thing over here, which we could. Tahira has died. Oh, that's sad. Uh, we could definitely do that. All right, now we can usurp the Duchy of Portugal. So we will usurp that title. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, create that kingdom of Barajos again. But look at that. Look at the beauty of the Abadid Sultanate now across Iberia. And Galicia is tiny. Obviously, we can't declare a war on them right now. Uh, now the question is, I wouldn't mind... Taking Navarra. But I also want to take... Head over here to Valencia. Declare we're here. We can just press the claims. We don't have that, but we can take the county. That will cost piety. We have the piety to do it all. Navarra has no allies. I've got a good, substantial army. But I'm not too concerned with that. We will uh, rally our troops, raise our forces. So, Navarra, you are up next. We're going to declare war on you. Holy War for the county. That's the only one I really want. Uh, because then we have connected our lands here. We'll worry about that some other time. Combine the forces here. Perfect. Into one giant army. And what we can do is meet them in open field. In a battle, we... I mean, they have more army commander traits, but we've got defensive buildings, defending in force, more soldiers, more men-at-arms. Ah, they can't escape us. 
They cannot escape us. Our fiery Amir, Amir maimed Count Fernando. A scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know yet, someone is planning to kill my Alama. Okay. I'll figure it out. We've got a, a battle here to fight. Victory. Perfect. All right. And now... I could go all the way down here. Uh, we've got a new perk. So we can dig for dirt. So progress speed for find secrets goes up 25%. Disrupt schemes effectiveness by up 50%. Swift execution murder scheme power plus 30%. He is the Sultan of Death. And he will do his name justice. Alright, so our mercenary companies are leaving. But I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, we will just simply go straight here. Alright, we will meet in battle again. Maybe. Nope. They're... They're avoiding battle at all costs. I'll go around here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, we don't have an army commander. Um, our son and heir. Can do that right now. Actually, I'm not too big on that. Let's go with our brother instead. Dynasty Legacy is available. All right, so faithful magistrates, so our control growth goes up. That's very nice. Uh, let's see, noble veins we can unlock. Congenital traits go up. Our ominous reputation dread gain goes up. House of warriors, our prowess and knight effectiveness goes up. Erudition, our vibrant court, so courtier and guest opinion goes up. Glory, marriage acceptance goes up. And kin, fertility goes up. I think House of Warriors would be a great one to go for here. Just boost that a little bit. Blessed are the meek. I was shocked when I caught Nayla trying to steal some of the travel chest visiting Wali Jabir. She gave me an impressive speech on how she now understood why what she had done was wrong. Okay, so she becomes humble. And we are going to win this siege here very, very shortly. We're going to win this siege before they win their siege. And that is... Might be all she wrote in a few days. And then we'll go around here and attack that army. Alright, here we go. This is a battle fought in a war. Uh, they've got a pretty good commander in his own right. It's the Grand Master of the Knight Templar. They will lose this battle... There we go. Perfect. Enemy combatants captured. Commander significantly improved. Siege of Amaya has been lost. Okay, so we've got to siege it back. Well, that's annoying. Alright, so we're going to siege that back. As they are licking their wounds. So neighbor lost a war. I did get that notification. Not seeing exactly where, but looks like Leon is. We've got a little vassal war going on here with Leon. They're backing off. So friendly exchanges. Okay. Commander approved. And in a few months, we will have this. So, schemer discovered. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is Nuri Abbasid, a nobleman. From Mana that is plotting against my Alama. Alright. So that ends that scheme. Let's see. Is there anything here? We've got prisoners we can ransom. But I'm not going to do that just now. We're just going to focus on winning the siege. Which we will before they get anything done there. In Leon. I'll be back in a moment. Alright. Here we go. We have won that siege. And now we will take that army and fight that battle. Their supply is running low. Army commander trade. So this should be... We should still win this one just simply because of the huge advantage in arms, uh, in soldiers. And after this, we will then move to the mountains. Oh, our counselor has died. We'll deal with that here in a second. So victorious in the battle. 
So let's add a new chancellor. And somebody that likes us, our cousin, Ali Zalil. So he is our new one there. All right, so now let's take this army. And head to Astorius, or Astorga, and siege that down. And hopefully that will then get us to the point that we need to be. I may call in an ally. We don't really need it. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Other than that, it looks like here Leon is under siege. So again, our, our vassals are also doing their jobs. So we've got a faction created against us. We'll, we'll have to figure that out later. But I'm not worried about that. What do we have here? Bayo is coming in. And they've reorganized and reformed. They are coming back. But we've got five months left in this siege. All right. We have won the siege. And with that, we have won the war. There we go. All right. So be it. It is now part of ours. We will disband our military over the domain limit. I will deal with that here in a second. We also have a ton of prisoners to deal with. All right, so gets a weak hook. What's he like? Is he any good? No. Negotiate? Nah. We'll just we'll just let him go. He's worth not much to us. The Infante, she's worth twenty. We'll let her go. That mayor, he's worth thirty. Then we've got the count, he's worth fifty. We'll do that. There's another Infante. For a favor. Weak hook. That's fine. Then we still have some other guys here. Uh, we'll worry about him in a second. Isra Dunit. She's still in there. Alright, so we will just untick that. Gained a favor hook on the king. Which is nice. Now our son, Prince Bilal. Let's give him a title. I think the Sheikdom of Astorga will work. Perfect. And with that, we are once again within our domain limit. Awesome. Perfect. So we've expanded very, very nicely. I'm very happy about that. Now we could go over here. These are allies with our vassals. Uh, our spouse up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. Expect results. And I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Wahida when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Let's see. Marshal Garisa. Studying Marshall for 15 years. Our Spy Master. Yeah, we're going to go with the Spy Master because we love intrigue, right? We're, we're, we're intrigue fans. Uh, let's take a look here. What's going on up here? So, Leon is losing the war to one of our vassals. That's kind of nice. I'm I'm digging that. So if he loses that war, then he will gain that territory for the Abadid Sultanate. Any other decisions here? Can negotiate an alliance here. We'll do that. We can ransom him for 30, and we will do that. Rashid Abadid can marry. Half-brother. I mean, who, who do we want to marry him off to that's good for an alliance? As far as alliance power goes, ah, let's do a North African alliance. What the heck, right? And we can designate a guardian for our son who is focusing on diplomacy. Let's see, he's charming. Actually, you know what? I want him to focus on intrigue. And because of that, I will be his guardian. Teach him 
in the ways of the Sultan of Death. Okay, we're called to war right away. Alright, we'll accept that, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Where's that war? This North African war, they can deal with that. It's, that's some border gore right there that I'm not overly concerned with. Instead, I think what we're going to do here is take a look at these guys. We can declare a war, press claims, but that's pointless. We can just conquer the county. I I think that's that's plenty. So let's go find our rally point and move it. Yes, I know I can set multiple rally points, but it's just... Did I actually do it? I don't think I did. Did I, did I, did I... Where did my rally point go? All right, so now we will go here. We will declare a war. We'll conquer the duchy, declare the war, raise all of our armies, and go in there and fight a mm, probably very quick war. I'm not overly concerned with the speed of this one. Let's see, they are seven months away. We are six months away. And they broke off the siege. So we will take Alacant pretty soon. Our wife is pregnant. Fantastic. This war is in North Africa is going to get lost. Here comes a larger force. But I am not worried about them at all. I mean, by the time they get down to sieging, we'll have, we'll have won what we came for. All right. We have won the siege. And with that, we will enforce the demands. It is now ours. Of course, we're over the domain limit again. And we have a perk we can unlock. A job done right. Hostile scheme success chance plus 25. We will do that. We are once again above our domain limit. I am going to disband our soldiers. Because again, I don't care about that North African war. And let's see, you are unlanded, so let's give you a title. Let's give you Alicante. With that, we will negotiate the alliance with him. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. We are, ah, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. It is looking good right now. We are technically at war with the Hudids. Um, they are at war to the south. But I'm not overly worried about that. I mean, we're still allied with them. I'm not going to get involved with that. I mean, if the Hudids expand here in North Africa... That would actually be to our overall benefit, if we really think about it. So, Leon lost their lands up here. So, now our northern border has expanded further. I wonder if we can offer vassalage. So, what? So, it's his opinion that's killing us here. We send a gift. Yeah, it'll bump up my stress. So we sent a gift, and still not quite there yet. All right, so let's sway. Let's work on him uh, to make him like us more. We, if he likes us enough and he agrees to vassalage, that would be huge. I have a daughter, Farah. Fantastic. I mean, if the Dunids would become our vassals, that would be amazing. Nyla has come of age. She is a thrifty clerk. So she can marry. Let's look at a matrilineal marriage with our cousin. Okay. Let's hit pause here real quick. We've got nephews. We've got cousins. Uh, yeah, let's marry someone who's pretty. It's matrilineal. That's always nice. All right, Cordoba's Lament. We need those resources for the troops. If one small village in Cordoba has to starve, 
The heated argument between my counselors follows me out of the room, and Ali Colon, the representative from Cordoba, greets me with tired eyes and approach. Here, this decree will force them to leave you alone. Uh, or what is one village in the grand scheme of things? So that means, what does it all give? So increased levies for 10 years, plus 10% levy size. Abandoned village, development growth minus 50 in Cordoba. That's not good. Um, the decree, so this gives us stress, but the intrigue goes up. Encourage improvements, so plus 10%. Uh, yes, we will do that. It's Cordoba. I'm, I'm not messing around with what's going on there. So now, we well, may as well hit on pause. Let's take a look here at Castile. Marriage, perfect. Castile, as far as a war goes, so it looks like we would have it to deal with Aquitaine. Holy War for the Duchy. You cannot afford the cost. Okay, the Devotion Award. Okay, so we just don't... We can't do that. We can't conquer the duchy. We could conquer a county. We could take the rest of Leon. Uh, just take that duchy. Just crush, crush Leon and be done with it. Who are they allied with? With Castile. Who's Castile allied with? Aquitaine. Yeah, and Aquitaine's pretty powerful because, look, France has fallen apart, really. So the Duchy of Aquitaine, we'll have to deal with them eventually, obviously, because part of this is you move up here and you conquer about uh, roughly around here. So this, believe it or not, is the easy part. This is the easy part. But I think this is a good place. Oh, Salma Abadit can marry. Salma is my half-sister. So, is there any alliance that's worth my time? There's really nothing here. So, we'll just keep her in our back pocket for now. Not overly worried about there. We can usurp Leon. that will cost us 500. We can usurp the entire kingdom of Leon, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I uh, don't need to do that. Instead, you know, I think in the next... Steps. We'll take the rest of Galicia and then Leon. Then the, the rest of Navarra. The Dunids. If we can get them to vassalize. If that total goes above. So it has to go positive. So that really comes down to the relationship improving with him. If we could... If they would become our vassal. That would be huge. I mean, then, then we've become close to an unstoppable force in Iberia. You know, we still need to take the Amurids because I just have to. And then the Hudids may actually vassalize as well. But I think this was a huge, huge episode. I mean, getting rid of destroying that uh, the second Sultanate of Barajos was the smart move. Chat was right. Or chat comments. Viewers were right in that. That's the right move. So now the Sultanate will not break up anymore. Uh, we will reform kingdoms once it becomes an empire. Which I wonder if we're able to do that once we have all of this. I'll have to take a closer look at that. But it's we're getting there. We're getting there. Again, if we vassalize the Dunits, instead of having to go to war. I mean, imagine we could conquer Iberia without having to go to war with the, at the beginning, the Islamic superpower in Iberia. That would be pretty cool achievement. And then I think the rest of the Iberian dominoes will fall after that. If you enjoyed this episode... As much as I have enjoyed playing it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to check out the Discord, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and so on. And until next time, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.